This is Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling. We're back. We're back. Your creative character marketing consultant. This time, to my left is Kenley Dillard. And if you are a uh, fan of this video blog, remember I told you when I uh, first started doing caricature on the street, you know, I met this black guy. You know, I thought I was only black caricature artist in New York, but I met this other black guy, you know, this guy here, Kenley Dillard, who was doing this phenomenal caricatures on the street. You know, he showed me the ropes, helped me to become a great, you know, caricature artist. Legendary. Weren't we legendary on the street? We were legendary, right? Yeah. Legendary. <laughs> but, ha, you know, I'm just going to let Kenley talk. We're going to talk about caricature, you know, just give you, you know, just, 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 just a taste, you know, of some of the things, some, not all, that, <laughs> that made, you know, us, you know, very successful in caricature. You just, let me ask you this question. You know, let's talk about caricature on the streets in New York. What is the reality? Look into the camera. You, what's the reality of caricature on the streets of New York City. Go. Oh, you gotta be tough skill-wise and you gotta be tough mentally. Yeah, you gotta speak up as loud as you can. My, my listeners are hard of hearing. <laughs> you gotta be tough what? You have to be tough-minded and you have to be tough in skill. Okay, now let's talk about being tough-minded. What do you mean by that? Well, um, there's a lot of people out there that don't really understand what it is to be an artist on... Um, whatever level, whether you're getting paid for it or you're doing it for yourself and doing it for a hobby. Mm -hmm. um, there's a huge difference between someone who does it in a studio and somebody who comes to the street mm -hmm. where you have to draw anybody and everybody who approaches you. And what, what's the main What's the main thing that the so-called, we're not putting you down, but what's the main thing about the studio artists that they don't understand once they come to the street? What is well, it? Well, I think the studio artists kind of understand I think it's the amusement park caricatures that don't really understand uh -huh. where when you work in front of an amusement park because I've had some experience doing that you know you have a station where you can come to and you know you're going to be there from 9 to 5 mm -hmm. you have a certain style that you have to learn while you're over there in the street you have to develop all of that on your own you have to find your own spot you have to make your own spot mm -hmm. and you have to create and cultivate your own style, plain and simple. Right, and, and the tough-minded part, where does that come in? Well, you have to know who you are as an artist. You need to know who you are as an individual. Mm -hmm. A lot of people believe that ethnicity has a lot to do with your skill level, and that's just not so. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think it's, whether you go to art school or not, has mm -hmm. something to do with it. It's not so. You have to develop yourself. Mm -hmm. as an artist and as a person because you're going to be dealing with everybody and anybody and right, there's right. no real preparation for that. Right, yeah. It's, you know, Kenley makes a good point about I hope my tongue doesn't fall off its rollers. Ethnicity. I said it and my tongue is still in my mouth. Um, ethnicity. <laughs> go figure. Uh, in New York City there is, you know, and we're not hating. This is just the reality that we found. There's a mistaken notion. Am I right or wrong? That, you know, if you see uh, an Asian artist on the street, and we both have experienced this, that somehow they're better because they're Asian, even though on their particular stands they will be showing the same work, which is actually work that they've gotten off of the internet that somebody else's and pasted it right on their stand. Tell us one experience that you've had um, with that, with a tourist. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, it, it's funny. I feel that I work very hard at what I do. Hard enough that I don't have to, you know, even... At one point, I didn't even think race had anything to do with it. Honestly, mm -hmm. I just came in there just to be a cartoonist, to be a good one. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of black folks have approached me, and they'd be like, hey, you draw pretty good for a black guy. But, like, that has anything to do with <laughs> what I do. And these are black folks um, approaching you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it was like this one lady came to me and was like, hey, um, you draw pretty good for a black man, but I'd rather get it done by the Asian guy down the block. Mm -hmm. And um, But I'm going to give you a dollar anyway because you're a brother. You're a brother, right? Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know if you're really related. My, I think my mother's pretty. Right. So we can't right. possibly be related. Mm -hmm. But as far as as far as the principle of the whole thing, 
It really has nothing to do with it. And then the irony was when she went to go get done by the other guy who she perceived because of his ethnicity, you know, was a good artist, and she got the stick figure that didn't look anything like her. Mm -hmm. And her, at least, that's what she said. And, 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 and probably the reality of it is, she probably paid for it. Folks, it's like... No, there's no probability. She yeah, actually did pay she, for she it. She paid for it, and right? she wanted to go get her money back. Uh-huh. And um, she was like, oh, I should have went to the black guy. <laughs> and... It, you know, you know, it, it's weird. It's like, it's like a bunch of crayons yeah. in a box, and one crayon in that box says, "Hey, how come there's so many colors in here?" Mm. And it doesn't make any sense. At the end of the day, they're all crayons. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Each one has a different mark, a different, a different color to make on this world. Right. What difference does race make? It doesn't. None whatsoever. Because I came there to be a great cartoonist, and I'm still. Here to be a great cartoonist, and no matter what color, mm -hmm. it doesn't have anything to do with my purpose in life. Right, and so, <laughs> and, and this is the part we're talking about. Uh, first of all, as being tough-minded, we're gonna do, we're running out of time for this segment, but we're gonna be back, you know, to talk about uh, life on the streets. You know, being a caricature artist. You know, this is Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling. You're a creative caricature marketing consultant, and I'll be back with Kenley Dillard in a moment. Sketch.